Fall down. Yes, good baby. Good baby. Pretending that you're taking off your jacket and your shoes and everything. And then I'm going to try to trip you. Okay, sir, and you may come through now. They learn how to get their ticket, how to check in, how to go to the gate, how to enter the terminal, how to go through TSA, which is, can be a harrowing experience, even without a dog, and then how to go down the jetway and how to board the plane, where they should sit on the airplane, and they get to actually experience turbulence, takeoff, and landing in our airplane simulators. So they go through the entire airport airplane experience and learn what to do with their dog. Is come one up to the, air, to the counter, and then you Now we're going to get some turbulence. We're going to be experiencing a bit of turbulence. We're going to leave from Los Angeles and go to Toronto uh, International. And he's never been on a plane before and he's never been in an airport before. And so when we got on the simulator, the turbulence, when that started, he was pretty agitated and looked up at me and wasn't sure what was going on. And uh, I think we're going to be prepared the next time it happens. I don't fly a lot, but so I don't know a lot of the routine myself. So with a dog, I would have been lost. And I really like the fact that Megan is not only just doing the physical part, you know, getting us on and getting us off and the turbulence, but explaining everything. This is what you should do. Here's an idea. And getting to practice it, I, I would feel comfortable going on an airplane with my dog now. I would know exactly what to do. Dog is right there, they could easily boom. He's just gotten hit. So that's a that's um, a way to avoid that. You always want to be in contact with your dog with a leash at all times. So the TSA agent is absolutely the one 100% in charge, but you can still be politely and professionally in charge of your environment. right now this is fantastic so they're all coming in right now this is great so we should be getting ready for this and you have all the the program is simply to go through TSA the process what do you have to do how you're gonna get them on board what to put on board what's allowed what's not allowed to make your life much easier and simpler even if your dog is trained with a four foot leash or a small little tether you want a six foot long leash and then it's not an oh my god just Okay, we're going to do this, and this we plan the time for this. And our dog's tail is tucked in there. That's wonderful. And now this little puppy's tail is stuck out there. The way it happens, I was at the airport, and I was just waiting in line to go through TSA, and I saw a, a dog and its owner having really a very challenging time to go through TSA. And uh, the dog was really very uptight, and the owner was even more uptight, and they couldn't go through the uh, metal detector. And it was really hard. And I saw right there, there was a light bulb right on top of my head saying, you know, I have all these big facilities, millions of dollars worth of sets. Why don't I do something really very useful? And that's how it all started. Good 
You need to, uh, repetition. Dogs need to be exposed uh, gradually and repetitively uh, to um, stimulation, to the environment, to uh, loud noises, to um, sounds and other dogs so that uh, when this experience happens to them on a daily basis, they're, they're able to act in a way that they're uh, used to acting and that they don't uh, um, get excitable. A little extra time or a little special attention getting on the airplane.